Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So if you've been keeping track, then you probably re realized that I never posted a makes video in July showing the things that I made in June. And that's not because I didn't make anything in June. It's simply just because I never got around to filming the video. I had so much going on on the channel already. And I was also planning for the big announcement on Instagram, which is I am hosting a sewing challenge called Social Mashup with Lori from Girls in the Garden, um, where we're challenging everyone to combine two or more sewing patterns to create one garment. And there's a ton of really great prizes. The grand prize is a FAF sewing machine, which is really, really awesome. So it's an Instagram only challenge. So head over to my Instagram to learn more about it or stay tuned to this channel um, because I'll be talking about it a lot more here in the next week or so. But today I'm going to be showing you everything that I made in June and July, just kind of get you all caught up on all the things that we made. But before I get into that, I do want to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Fashion Fabrics Club. If you guys don't know, Fashion Fabrics Club is an online fabric retailer. They have a ton of fabrics online like a ton of variety, all kinds of different types of fabrics. They have everything from swimwear to jacquard. They have costume fabrics. They have special occasion fabrics. They have our favorite Tencel. They have faux furs and flannels and home deck fabric. Honestly, they have tons and tons and tons of different types of fabrics. And on top of that, those fabrics also happen to be really great quality fabrics, which I know is very hard to find online, especially at a price point that we're all kind of comfortable with. So the things that Fashion Fabrics Club really prides themselves on is variety of fabrics that come in really great quality and are affordable for everyone. So they were super generous and sent me three different cuts of fabrics. I was so excited to get them. Um, the first one is a jersey knit in this really pretty like baby pink color. This is like 98% rayon and 2% lycra. This is really great for lightweight cardigans, um, maybe even like a trapeze dress, not anything super fitted. This is very lightweight, um, but most ideal for like t-shirts, which is what I will be making from it. Uh, it is less than $6 a yard, which is awesome for rayon, you know, my favorite fabric. It's super, super soft. I absolutely love it. And look at that gorgeous drape. Love that so much. Um, the next one I got is super fun. This is uh, like kind of like a boucle, but it has this orange stripe and then there's also like a metallic thread running through it as well. And you guys, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know how obsessed I am with just like fun little cropped jackets. I think that those are a way to jazz up an outfit with minimal effort. You can wear jeans and a t-shirt and then throw this on top and you look like a million bucks. So I've got a couple different little crop jacket patterns that I have in mind for this. It's definitely going to be one of my fall-ish sewing uh, plans. So stay tuned for that. It is no longer available on Fashion Fabrics Club. I accidentally posted about my haul on Instagram and there was a run on this one in particular. So I'm sorry about that, but they do have a lot of really great fabrics that are very similar to this one. And I will link a couple of them in the description box for you. And then finally, they sent me this little beauty. It is like a little white, blue, and I don't know, some kind of like version of red stripe Oxford fabric. It's actually a blend of 65% cotton and 35% linen. So it gives you that really great, lightweight, breathable, easy summer 
fabric to use. This is perfect for any kind of like button down top or any kind of like structured top that you're wanting to make like the willow tank obviously comes to mind. It's also really great for skirts and dresses. It's fairly opaque considering how light the colors are especially if the skirt is a little bit flared. Um, so don't you know, I went ahead and whipped something up out of this fabric as soon as it came in. Um, and this is the first of my makes that I'm going to show you guys. So this is the cutest little shirt dress that I made with this adorable ruffle top. I mean, obviously with the stripe, I just had to find a pattern that was going to highlight that. So I found one with princess seams and a beautiful uh, kind of like quarter or half circle skirt. I didn't worry too, too much about lining up the stripes. They're close, but I could have done better. I wasn't really trying though. But um, anyways, it is half lined and just like a really lightweight cotton. And I think she is super, super cute and adorable. The fabric was suited for this pattern perfectly. And like I said, if all of this were one solid color, and this, the ruffle might kind of blend in, but because it is a fun little stripe, I did turn the pattern piece so the stripes, they wanted them to run the length of the um, ruffle, but I turned them the other way so just to make sure that you could absolutely see all the stripes in this fabric. She's super lightweight, she's super comfortable and super, super easy to wear. So if you are interested in grabbing the knit or this little guy. I think this one is less than $7, like $6.95 or something. So you could have a whole dress for $14. It doesn't get better than that. Um, if you're interested in either of those fabrics, I will have them linked in the description box for you. Um, otherwise, head to Fashion Fabrics Club and check out their huge assortment and variety of fabrics that are really great quality and at a very, very affordable price. And even better, you know I have a coupon code for you that's sort of my way of saying thank you and Fashion Fabrics Club way of saying come try us out. So we have a 15% off coupon code for you, 15% off the, the entire site, nothing is locked in limits, no restrictions, there's no expiration date, so you can shop till you drop till the end of time. <laughs> the coupon code is the HEM15. So head to Fashion Fabric Club and let me know what you end up getting for yourself. Tag me in your haul picture or um, leave a comment in the description box here. I can't wait to hear all the fun fabrics that you guys discover on their site. So moving right along, my next make is actually my refashion. So I use Simplicity 8880, the top that the human model is wearing. Um, and I was able to use this dress that I got at Goodwill to make this super cute little top. I preserved the um, like border embroidery <clears throat> and made a sweet little darling top that I just truly adore. I need to make more of these actually. I really, really like this top. I will say though that the arm elastic, this part here, was a little small for me. So make sure to measure that on yourself. I had to let it out by like an inch or more. So, um, cause it was just like way too constricting. But either way, I'll tell you more about this whenever I do my formal video review. Um, this pattern I'm talking about today, just because I mentioned it before, I can't remember which pattern it is. I swear it's a Vogue. Um, I'll try and find it and put it in the captions here. But um, initially this dress was not being worn because the skirt on the outside is a pleated skirt, but on the inside it was like a more fitted skirt for the lining, which was never comfortable. It was never easy to sit down. I didn't enjoy wearing it. So I just chopped off the skirt hem and made it just a um, bodice lining and there's no skirt lining at all. This fabric's pretty opaque. So that was the solution. And I've been wearing it a ton already ever since I did that. So I was just really happy to be able to spend a few minutes and kind of preserve a garment that on the outside looked really good, but on the inside was super uncomfortable to wear. So that's that one. 
Next up, I have, what is it? Butterick 5639. I made this version here, I think. Straight up that version, yeah. Yep, I think it's this version completely. Um, I just was loving those deep, deep pockets. Uh, little secret though, I made it out of a double brush uh, poly instead of um, a woven. The, the pattern says you can use stable knits. Double brush poly is probably pushing it in terms of what would be considered a stable knit. Stable knits are probably more like ponty and stuff like that. This is a little bit stretchier than that. But um, I don't know, I just really wanted it in a knit. So that's what I did. I just added a center back um, zipper, which this one has a center back zipper. Okay, so I preserved the center back zipper. You don't normally put zippers in knits, but I just really wanted to make sure that I was gonna be able to get into it. And so here she is. I love this double brush poly, super comfortable, super lightweight. Polyester isn't the most breathable fabric, so I'm not gonna say it's like super cool in the summer, but I think that these colors and tones are a little bit more fall-like anyways. So I think with like a sweater or a lightweight jacket, this is gonna get me a ton of wear in come fall. So, and I love, love, love the deep, deep, deep pockets. Okay, next up we have McCall 7602. This little guy here, and if you remember my plans video, I was talking about how simple it would be to take like view C or A and just extend the peplum by like a foot to make a dress. And that is exactly what I did. Um, here she is, super cute. And you may recognize the fabric being the same as the pink fabric from the uh, dress I talked about two dresses ago. And it is, they both came from Joanne. This particular one, the blue one, I've seen in the clearance section at my Joanne as recently as last week. So you may still be able to get it. It's like a rayon twill or something like that. Um, it's mid-weight, uh, really easy to work with. And I just thought that with the kind of horizontal pattern that's going on, it would be great to highlight this little ruffle. So I really love it. I ended up uh, making no changes, I don't think. I didn't add a pocket or anything. So, so yeah, she just drapes and hangs beautifully and I kind of really love wearing her. I will say though, I made this at the very beginning of July and since then I have lost a little bit of weight. So she's already too big by like, maybe a couple of inches. So I am toying with taking her apart and, um, you know, tightening her up in the side seams. But with this flounce, that will prove to be a little bit challenging. So it's not just something I can just whip out in a couple of hours. I really kind of have to think about how I'm going to alter that with the flounce. Um, but either way, after I made that one, I was like, okay, we're going to start to sew clothes for what my body will be. <laughs> and so one of them, the first shirt dress is a little bit like snug in the waist. Um, but I know that it'll be a couple weeks and I'll be fitting into it fine. This one I made a little bit uh, more snug as well, but I've already kind of grown into it. So that's good. But here she is super cute another little sundress this one with a little bow shoulder detail which i'm obsessed with this one has pockets it's lovely and i did a pretty little purple button um a little lilac button and it matches my nails that's exciting um this is a seersucker like a rainbow seersucker this is the fabric that i got from the vogue uh, summer swatch catalog. I saw all of you guys commenting that you ran out and got your own swatch catalog, which is awesome and exciting. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, you're going to love it. You really are. I cannot wait to get mine um, the next time that they all come out. So the pattern for this one is M7950. It's view D down here at the bottom. I opted to not do the little cutout. 
Um, but maybe one day. I just get nervous about how the bodice is constructed. I've made one of those before, that red jumpsuit. I don't know if you remember that. Um, and it's fine, but I don't want too many of them in my wardrobe, if you know what I'm saying. But I did think that the rest of the pattern was super cute with this version here. And um, obviously you can like swap out the straps and do all kinds of fun, different things with it. So anyways, that's that. And then I also made, do you remember my little like play suit idea where I was gonna take a chambray and make a top and shorts out of the same fabric and kind of have like a mock jumpsuit or a mock uh, romper kind of thing out of it? Well, I did that. Um, it is Simplicity 18887 for the shorts and Simplicity 8090 for the top. Uh, the top is View F without the lace detail. And I don't know, I have mixed thoughts on how this turned out. I First of all, the shorts don't fit great. There are some fit issues. I feel like the crotch curve in the back was not deep enough. So I did deepen that, which helped a lot. But then I don't know, there's something else funky going on with it that makes them not super comfortable. It could be that the fabric is a little bit lightweight. I'm not sure. And then um, the top being so kind of voluminous at the bottom, I don't know that it's super flattering. I'll just leave it at that. But I do have separates. So even if I don't wear them together, I do have a chambray top, which is really cute to wear with jeans, white jeans, blue jeans, whatever. Um, super cute. And I just love the little gingham green button detail that I did on the back. Super cute. And then here are the shorts. <clears throat> So I want to like this pattern, but I don't know. Maybe it's this that this front part is like flat. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but there they are. And um, yeah, so those are everything I've made for the past couple of months. Oh, there's this guy. I almost forgot. I have this too. Um, this is kind of still a work in progress. You can see here how this is like puckering the fabric the pattern said to fold it under and top stitch and I just think that this fabric is not very well suited for that so I'm going to cut out a lining from the bodice pieces and try and create like a proper finish on these arm size and neckline hopefully they haven't stretched out too much the pattern I used is M7160. I did basically the sleeveless version of B and the skirt from C, which by the way, is sort of a pattern mashup. I mean, but we are asking for you to do two different patterns, but it's the same concept. Um, so I just love the fabric and I love what I did with like the placement of the pattern. I think that that is, oh, hello. <laughs> Hello, showing some cheek. Um, I added a little pocket on the side. So I do think that this will be a beautiful dress. I just have to sort whatever's happening here. I have to sort that out. So I'll get that done hopefully here in the next couple of weeks. But anyways, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you all had an equally successful couple of months with your sewing projects. And I will be back very soon to chat with you guys about my plans for August and to talk to you a little bit more about social mashups. So much fun. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.